So here I am with Esprit Devora at South by 2010. And what I want to talk about, Esprit, is I want to talk about you read my book Juggle, yes. and I know you read it 12 months ago. And here we are 12 yeah. months later. So tell me your Juggle story. Well, Juggle gave me permission to be a workaholic in an effective way that it took away that workaholic note wasn't necessarily a bad thing. You're allowed to love what you do with your life. And then it's about integrating aspects from your personal life and aspects from your professional life together. So it doesn't, it's like the nine to five doesn't exist anymore. I mean, we live with all these crazy concepts like social media and you know, there's no retirement plans at the end. So what does that mean? When do we take our vacations? When do we have time for ourselves? So being able to have permission to integrate your work life and your personal life into each daily living, each day, it was just a blessing. I was excited to come across Juggle. On top of that, it really identified what your core competency is. I was like, wait a second, there's one thing that I'm really good at. There, there, you know, how do you monetize that core competency in yourself? First of all, you need to recognize it. What's that thing when people think of you that that's, that's how they address you? It's free, she's that kind of person. You know, for me, it's a connector. So now how do you take that and how do you create that into that passion project, that thing that's your life, that's your professional life, but yet it's your personal life because you were doing it before it was ever something professional. And for anyone that's not read Juggle, what do you think is the kind of key takeaway for what value they're gonna get from it? Freedom. <laughs> Freedom, cool. freedom to experience your life each day full of passion and what you love to do professionally, but you feel so personally fulfilled by your life.